In this video, I want to show you how to calculate the present value of a growing annuity. So here's our formula. Okay, so we've got the initial cash flow. Okay, that's our cash flow here, the very first cash flow, times 1 minus 1 plus G, which is the growth rate. That's the amount by which the annuity, the cash payment, is going to grow each period, divided by 1 plus R, where R is the discount rate to the nth power, which n is the number of periods, okay? And then we divide all of that, or divide our numerator by r minus g, so the discount rate minus the growth rate. Let me show you how to do this with an actual example. We'll apply the formula. So let's say we've got a company that wants its CEO to retire, and so they, as, as an incentive, they offer the CEO a cash payment once a year for the next five years. They want the CEO to go quietly, Maybe they don't feel like firing the CEO, and they say, listen, we'll, we'll give you some cash. For five years, we'll give you money. And so the CEO is thinking about taking this cash and wants to know, well, what is the present value? Okay. So the very first payment that the CEO receives is going to be one year from today, and it's going to be $20,000 cash. But then that payment is going to increase. Each year, it's going to be 10% higher than what the, it was the year before. Okay. So if we think about the stream of payments, uh, one year from now, the CEO is going to receive 20000 but then two years from now, is going to receive 20000 times or, or increased by 10%, which is 22000 So that's just 20000 uh, times 1.1. 1 .1. Okay, that's how you increase something by 10%. And then 22000 when you increase that by 10%, the next year you'll get 24200 the fourth year 26620 and then the fifth year 29282 that is the stream of cash flows that this CEO is going to receive. And you could actually go and do the present value of this single cash flow, present value of this single cash flow, and then add them all up. But we're, we're just going to apply the formula for the growing annuity. So let's assume that the discount rate is 12%. And then the question is, what is the present value of this series of cash flows? So let's apply our formula. We're going to have our initial cash flow is $20,000. Okay, so I'm just plugging that in. That's that's from right here. And then our G, okay, our growth rate is 10%. So we've got in the numerator here 1.10. And then here for our R, we've got 12% discount rate. So I've just plugged in 0.12 for our R. And then in the denominator, we've got 0.12 minus 0.10, our discount rate minus the growth rate. And then the number of periods is five. Okay, that corresponds to the end. All I did here was just plug in these numbers, or plug in for those variables. Okay, now when we simplify the numerator here, it's this whole part. When we calculate that out, we get 0 0.086153. And then the denominator, 0 0.12 minus 0.10, is just 0 0.02. Okay, so when we divide this by this, we get 4.307669, multiply that by $20,000, and that gives us $86,153.37. So what is this $86,153.37? That is the present value of this stream of cash flows.